we want to be loved by more people. I mean, one of the great problems with the desire for attention, and this is the danger of it, is that you want a lot of people to like you. It's like the addiction of being popular. You want everyone to like you. That's not really what love is about. Love is about finding something that's very intimate, and that's why intimacy is part of it, and personal to you. That can work with one person, but that's not the same thing as what social media makes us do. Social media puts our relationship with that special person right out there, and we feel we should share that thing, which in a way cheapens it, weakens it, certainly vulgarizes it, because to be vulgar is simply to be part of the popular concern. That, I think, is probably the real, real downside of social media, is that we're, is that we're literally distracting ourselves from our hearts. We're distracting ourselves from the things that we otherwise think. Neil Postman, uh, uh, before he died, published you know, this, this, this whole idea of you know, you know, being bored to death or entertained to death or distracted to death as a deliberate task. We are tired, we turn on the television. We're tired, we check Facebook. Even when it comes to the affective world, by sharing everything about our intimate affairs with everyone else, we have taken away the aura, we've taken away the quality, special quality of it. It's now something to sell ourselves with, not necessarily to the person who cares most, which would be our lover, but rather to others. So we have to appear in a certain way. Think of the, the, this ridiculous concern that we have uh, for the royal, the royal family, you know, the Megan thing, the Mexit, as they're calling it, moving to Canada. This is the second son. His chances of being king are slim to none. His grandmother's never dying. She only uses homeopathic medicines, so she's fine. Uh, the royal family uses only homeopathy. They never use standard uh, medical uh, uh, treatment of any kind. So. You know, the queen mother lasted forever. This queen's clearly lasting forever. Charles is lasting forever. So his older brother will be king. He will not be king. So why does he have to live in a fishbowl, he asks himself. That's the concern they have. Why are all of us in a similar situation? But we are. That's a very interesting thing. We're all of us royals in a certain sense. We, we're not followed by the paparazzi on Sun, the newspaper in, in, in England. But, but nonetheless, we are ourselves our own paparazzi, putting ourselves out there for our followers, which we imagine ourselves to have. It's a fascinating circumstance. But it also, at the same time, takes away from love its special quality.